Well, in an earlier newscast, we told you about Governor Cuomo's plan to publicly finance statewide campaigns. There is no bill yet with any details, but the governor has used the figure of $30 million when talking about his plan. Another aspect of that plan would make larger donations more public. Our Capitol correspondent, Pat Bailey, joins us now with this part of the story from our Capitol Bureau. Hi, Pat. Hey, Greg, how you doing? That's right. The governor believes that there are too many loopholes in the current system. One example he gives are large corporations getting around their maximum donation amount of $5,000. Well, Governor Cuomo believes a disclosure law would prevent such a thing and make it easier for you at home to follow the money that is given to candidates here in New York State. There is a way to track campaign contributions in New York, who they are from and how much. However, Governor Cuomo says the current reporting process takes too long and there is very little oversight. One of the state's watchdog groups agrees. The current system is completely ridden with loopholes. The head of NYPERG says one example of a loophole is corporate donations. The max amount is $5,000, but if the company has, for example, LLCs attached to it, those LLCs are considered separate donations. There's one guy in New York City who owns a bunch of real estate properties who can give over a million dollars a year because each of these is allowed to give the full amount to every candidate he wants to donate to. The governor also wants to make the period of time campaign contributions are made available to the public quicker. Another aspect of his plan is to use taxpayer dollars to match small, unspecified, capped amounts to private donations. The whole plan is something state watchdog groups in New York have been pushing for for years. When you consider how much of an impact this has on everything else the state does and how much time our legislators spend holding fundraisers in Albany rather than actually reading bills that they vote on a few hours later, this really will make all the other bills that should be done in Albany a lot easier and a lot better. So this does take as much priority as anything because this affects everything. Now, to implement these plans and to watch over them, the governor is suggesting the State Board of Elections has an enforcement unit whose sole job, again, would be campaign finance reform. Greg? All right, so the big question now, Pat, when will this plan become a reality? Will it become a reality? Well, we'll have to wait and see for the last two uh, budget terms. He's talked about campaign finance reform. The governor talked about it again this year. He mentioned it a few weeks ago, but of course right now the, the big question is the budget, getting that passed, and then we'll wait and see if it actually gets to the legislature this session. All right, a lot of wait and see. Thank you very All much, right. Pat Bailey, reporting live from Albany. Dory.